Hey guys, uh, so today we're talking about holds, hold types, hold terminology, and the technique involved in holding these holes. <laughs> Hold. oh, holds. <laughs> holds. Alright, let's do it. Okay, so first category out of five, we have jugs. Jugs are fairly self explanatory, they're, they're the easiest grip types to hold onto. Um, this one, for example, is a handlebar. You can hold that anywhere you want. You can hang around on it all day. It lends itself to easy climbing, you know? So this one here has got a bit of a curl back to it. It would be good on an overhang. Good um, maybe in a roof, you can see the curl back. So very easy to hold onto. Um, and this one here, not quite as welcoming. Um, doesn't curl back so much, but still straightforward. So jugs, easy. Okay, so depending on the size of jug, uh, you might want to position your hand slightly differently. Um, with a really big handlebar, you'll find that your, your, your line of knuckles will line up with the top of the jug. Uh, once you're hung down on that, you'll feel really comfortable. With something with less of a curl back, you might want to have your fingers on it rather than your knuckle over the top. So category number two, we'll talk about slopers. Um, so beginners tend to fall down once they encounter slopers for the first time. They're inherently harder to hold than a jug. You don't have this, this curl back. You don't have anything really to grab onto. So you, not, you have to know how to position your hands on the hold. With slopers generally, you're, you're going to be hanging quite low down on them. So the higher you come up with your body on a sloper, the more likely you are to just slip off. So you want to be really, really low. Uh, if you were to compare these two, uh, you can see this doesn't curl back at all. So it's actually very hard to hold, obviously depending on the angle. This one curls back slightly and it's, it's deeper. So I would consider this a better sloper or easier to hold. Uh, you tend to find slopers on a, on a ret, if you have two on an ret opposing each other, they're, they're very easy to hold on to, but if you only have one, it becomes quite tricky. Okay, category three, we're going to talk about pinches. Like all types of climbing hold, uh, pinches have different degrees of difficulty. This one on my right, it's quite narrow. It's got a good positivity, so these edges curl back in. It would be very easy to grip onto this on, on most angles. Uh, this one in the middle, um, less positivity, it's a bit wider, so it's probably going to lend itself to more powerful climbing. To hold it properly you'll have to gain some strength. Um, you'll start to come across these once you enter sort of V3, V4 territory I should think. And then the one on my left, uh, we have this, these in our hardest circuit, so it's, it's quite low profile, it doesn't come out from the wall very far. And again, it's very wide, so it's quite hard to hold on to at, at any angle, apart from possibly a slab. It's tricky. So the difference between pinches and, and other hold categories is that a pinch will force you to engage the thumb. So you're going to be clamping it from either side, with your fingers one side and your thumb the other. It's all about thumb engagement. Same thing, see? Same thing. My thumb has to engage here, fingers engage the other side. The wider a pinch is, the harder it will be for you to engage all four fingers on one side. So if I was going to try and pinch this here, I'm, I'm losing my index finger. I'm only really squeezing with my, my middle and my ring finger. Whereas here, I'm able to engage all four fingers easily on one side and my thumb easily on the other. So the wider the pinch, the harder it becomes. Category number four, we're going to talk about crimps. What's a crimp? Uh, when I started climbing five or six years ago, I didn't really know what a crimp was. I saw and heard the word pinch and I was like, I don't know the difference between a pinch and a crimp. And I'm sure you guys are feeling the same thing. So a crimp, usually a crimp will involve you using the very tips of your fingers. You're only going to get maybe like a pad and a half on a crimp. Any bigger than that, it's, it's a jug. Some strong climbers would call this a jug. So, out of the four I've got in front of me, the, this, this orange and black hold is, is by far the best. Um, it's got some positivity, it curls back. I can get at least a pad and a half on there, um, but immediately it, it, it lends itself to harder climbing. The green and pink also has a bit of, bit of curl back, 
bit of positivity. It's a bit sharper and it's it's a lot narrower. So I'm only going to get maybe one pad on there. Crimp, crimps will require you to have stronger fingers, so you'll encounter them later on in your in your climbing life. Maybe at the end of your first year, you'll start using smaller holds, and then when you get really good, you'll you'll start hearing about credit card crimps. Credit card because it's so narrow. This one. Again, we use it on our hardest circuit, the greens, so it's completely flat, there's no input, you can't get behind it. You know, it's less than half a finger pad, so it's very hard to hold on to, unless you're on a slab. You know, some people put their fingernails on there, but that's, that doesn't work. I would be inclined to full crimp it, so there are two types of crimp position. <clears throat> there's a half crimp and there's a full crimp. Full crimp is where you wrap your thumb around the top of your index, and the half crimp is where you, you, you keep your hand open. Kind of a personal preference thing, it, it should come naturally to you, but I suspect most people would full crimp this. Whether you full crimp or half crimp a hold kind of depends on where it's positioned. If it's straight down, maybe you're more likely to full crimp it. If it's a side pull, you could open your hand up and lean, lean away from it. So it's all about positioning. A full crimp could be considered more dangerous because it puts more stress on the tendons in your fingers. Whereas an open hand half crimp doesn't quite do that. Last of the four in front of me. Um, usually this is a foothold. Uh, you're not going to be able to get all four fingers on here. So some people would call it a pebble, similar to a pebble in maybe the Peak District. You can engage maybe two fingers on this and a thumb. Uh, it's still considered a crimp, but it's, it's going to be harder. Category number five slots and pockets. Slots and pockets are really interesting holes. They come in lots of shapes and lots of sizes. Um, often with pockets, so these two and this one, you'll find that the number of fingers you're allowed to, that you can use them with is restricted. So this one, you can only really get two fingers in there, or if you have quite small fingers, you can probably get three. It's the same with these two, just two fingers in each. And then with slots, slots restrict accuracy. So if you're going to a slot dynamically, you're more likely to go and miss it. It's important to uh, notice that holds can have a crossover between types. So as an example, this slot, category number five, is also a crimp. This pinch, if you have small hands, is also a sloper. You'll just be holding it on top. If your hands aren't big enough, you can't pinch it. Most people would see this as a sloper, but actually it's more likely to be a crimp. So you're going to be getting your fingers right to the back and squeezing the top of it. And this, we used it as an example for a pinch, but if it's, if it's horizontal on the wall, you're not going to pinch it. You're just going to hang straight from the top, so it's more like a jug. Lots of crossover. And then we have holds like this, really large volume style holds. Um, this one specifically has loads on it, so you'll find a crimp here, you'll have a sloper on top. If it comes to it, you might end up pinching this area. Uh, yeah, great hold. Lots of options. Do you ever name the holds? Uh, I, think, I think this one's called a wing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it looks like a wing. Look at chicken wing. Like an angel wing. Oh, I prefer chicken. <laughs> Jake, that was a good video. Hopefully it was informative. Hope so. Do you have any words, wise parting words to say to our viewers? Well, I've never got wise words, but uh, I can say that climbing is subjective. Every, all, all opinions in the climbing world are subjective. Take my advice with a pinch of salt. Uh, we hope to build your climbing IQ so that you know how to hold this slot or how to hold, how to hold this sloper once you encounter it on a wall. What do you do? So and if you learn now. Yeah, and if anyone asks what crimp is, you can tell them. Oh my god, you're gonna be so cool. Remember guys, subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. See you later! Insemination! Oh no! Shit!